All right. Hey, guys. I'm Sam. Hello. All right. Nice. So today I'm going to talk about something exciting, essential, and something everyone here probably has done if you've touched Marionette. Nesting views. Scary. All right. Yeah. So my name's Sam. I work at this company in Rhode Island. It's a cool place. Mojo Tech. I'm on the internet. Those two places. Just check me out. All right. So deeply nested content is hard and it's scary. And you get these wireframes from your designers or your UX experts and you're super scared because they have so much state and so much complexity. It's like this and then this and then this and that and does all that and then that and you are scared. So, I mean, it's easy. Just do that. Right? It's perfect. OK. So showing one thing is easy. We all can pretty much do that. Index.html, div, done. This is a little harder. Got more divs, more things. They all live within each other. And it's confusing. So there's two pieces in Marionette that are going to make your life a lot easier. And they're going to talk to each other and work together, layouts and regions. So as you've heard from multiple people, Jason, we're going to compose multiple elements together. They come together, and everything gets a lot easier. So uh, here's a region. Uh, if you've used Marionette a little bit, you've probably seen this. If not, it's OK. It's simple. It's kind of like a view, a little bit. Uh, we define a region. You set your L. Then you're going to show it. And then you're good to go. So the region is going to show that view right here into your region. And everything's going to show up on your screen. So this is the easy case. This is showing one thing. And showing in a region gives you a cool little show event that your region or that your view gets. Uh, so you can listen to that. And it's, it's easy. Uh, our layout view or layout in pre-2 land uh, can contain regions. So now you see that our layouts have regions. And our regions, you can show layouts in those. And so the chain can go all the way down and back up. So yeah, so like you saw, we, we're going to define two regions, uh, selectors, and it's easy. So this is a layout view. So then, like I said, we can show layouts into regions so that relationship becomes cyclical and inception. Exactly. <laughs> you can put your layouts into regions. Your layouts have regions. Got it? OK, all together. So think of it like this way. You can call show on a single layout inside of a region. And that layout, if you hook into on show, that layout is then going to show all your views within all of its regions. All of its regions that now have views are going to say, oh, I've been shown. Show my things. Keep going down and down and down and down. So that complex layout that we saw earlier is a single show call, nested calls. It's great. So you're probably like, cool. I'm glad I can show some stuff. I want to put some data in there. And usually when you start talking about data, things get hard. Some A and 12. <laughs> so uh, if you've done this, you're like, well, this is easy. I can just pass in some data into my initial show or view instantiation. And then I have these options. And I can pass the options within the show. And then that show can pass its options to its show. And that and so on and so on. And you end up with these really cool chains and options. And it just it's really good code. No, don't do that. It's bad. Uh, it makes it hard to maintain. And also, if you change the arguments that you're passing in on the top level, everything breaks. And you're like, uh. So uh, how do we mitigate this? Getting data down the chain um, is probably the wrong way to think about it. Instead, we're going to register our data somehow at the root of the chain, so at the top level. And then when, any, when anyone needs that data, they're just going to say, oh, root object, give me that data. Use it. So here's an example. It's easy. We're going to say app.details is equal to some model. 
and we're going to show details view and details view is going to be like yo i'm shown show my account region and it's going to say oh app.details need that grab it so none of that crazy options passing easy straightforward right so our layouts have regions we have data options easy so we want to avoid deep param parsing like we saw we're going to register our data at the top level so there's some cool registry patterns that we can use Radio and Wrecker happens to be one of those things. So you can register with request and get that data whenever you want it. So your root object can actually be a pub sub kind of object if you want it to be, or you can just attach it to window. That's always good. <laughs> so you're like, oh, cool. Well, that doesn't help me because I have this thing called a server. And that server is asynchronous. So we're just going to do dollar sign dot Ajax, and it's all going to work. No, that's not, but maybe. OK. So the solution uh, to handling asynchronous requests for data is to render immediately all your views. That single show is going to render everything. And then we're going to react to this data change uh, at a later point. So we're going to render some, some coin. We're going to find its price. So this is our initial render. It says, I'm fetching. So it's on the screen. It's showing to your user immediate feedback. When your server finally responds, it's going to say, wow, such a good price. So you see, asynchronous, Whoosh, crazy. OK. So you're like, how do I do that? It seems cool. Well, it's easy. So remember how we registered our root model at the top? We requested it, and we passed it down the chain, or didn't pass it down the chain, and we, uh, we rendered it into our layout or item view as our model, and we're going to listen to this cool thing called model events that every item view has. So model events allow you to listen for events on the model and say, oh, something changed. So we're going to say on change of anything, of uh, change of coin price, we're going to just re-render our view. So that's going to call view.render, which is going to call your template render and show everything. So it's going to react to this data change. And it doesn't care when it changes. If your data changes, it's going to say a change, better re-render. So views update on data change, asynchronous, layouts, regions, show, we're all good. So you're like, but people can click things, and it changes how my views look. And if I call render, my view goes away, my view state's gone. So how am I going to handle that in a deeply nested structure? Well, it's easy again. We're going to prevent UI-driven state. So this guy right here, not a good idea. It's probably in your code. It's in my code. I use it all the time. But if I call re-render on that, that class is gone because I clicked it, and then something changed asynchronously. I re-render. My class is gone. So I'm like, ah, it's bad. And someone files a bug, like, you broke the site. I'm like, oh, sorry. So the trick is to persist your state, your view state, in a view model. So view models are just like a regular model. There's a place where you save data to, and you're going to render based on that view model. So the state isn't persisted in the DOM. You don't set classes. You don't do anything like that. You just say, hey, view model, what's going on with this value, and then render accordingly. So view model isn't something like that's baked into Marionette. This is just another model. It's basic, just like a data model, just a regular model holds some state. So. Now we can re-render without dropping state. So think of it like you have a view model, you have your regular model, renders, and you get your view. And the view is good. And some data changes on the server. You re-render. You say, hey, view model, what's your state? Hey, model, what's up? Render. Good to go. So render without dropping state. It's great. It's easy. So our deeply nested view, any view in that chain, can now be re-rendered without losing state, can receive asynchronous data, re-render. You can click on things. You don't lose that state when you call re-render. It all works. So I don't know. I didn't pay attention. So let's just go over this. We can render into regions. Yes. Use a registry for model data. Register at the top. React to change, persist UI state in models. That's it. Deeply nested views solved. No such thing as a hard UI now.
All right, that's it. That was a good last slide. So that's it. I want to thank you guys for all coming. This is cool. It's awesome.